Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, dogs, and cats. Welcome back to Calm Down Level Up. Today we're here again, holy shit, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. We are here today in Bad AI, Rudge 56, um, AI only game. Oh look, the Soviets just launched a large offensive and it all failed. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll check the casualties again and see how many Soviets have actually died in the, uh, in the invasion of Poland again. Let's actually do that right now. Last time we checked, it was in like three, three and a half million. Uh, now it's at pretty much six million. Six million dead Soviets invading Poland, which have they haven't even took they haven't even taken one um, province yet, and forty nine only forty nine thousand dead Polish. So Poland is doing really good against the Soviets. Uh, they've declared war on Iran too. That's exactly what the Soviets need right now is they need to declare war on as many countries as possible. Because look at what Japan's doing. They need to distract themselves from what's happening over here in the east. Um, and the West, actually. They're having, they're suffering horrible losses in both sides. You know what? Let's do instead. Let's just invade Afghanistan because we have a great reputation for being able to take out Afghanistan. And the Iranians, they're actually invading the Soviets back. Like, they're actually conquering into Turkmenistan now. So, yeah, I Iran actually even has a claim on it. Iran also has a claim on Armenia. So, um, we could see Iran in a peace deal, take both Turkmenistan and Armenia. The Spanish advance has hardly been halted. They're basically at Paris again. So um, the Axis are again in control of the majority of France. Um, this could allow them to actually invade into Germany and liberate all of Germany if they are smart about it. Um, I mean, it's been a really hard game for the Axis to try to stay, uh, stay active and stay um, relevant because Germany didn't do any of its... Um, things it should have been doing in the beginning where it should have been taking, you know, making demands, making land grabs, but it didn't do anything until, like, 1941. The Soviets are now invading Romania, which actually, in turn, could help the Axis a little bit, because, um, you know, the Hungarians are invading Romania, but they're having a hard time, and they really need to relocate these, these forces to a better spot um, over here to help defend Austria's uh, cities and stuff. But here come the Soviet Union invading Romania. Um, on the other hand, though, it's a bad thing because the Soviets are going to have a border with the with the Austria Austro-Hungarians, and uh, they are at war. So the the Soviets will probably invade up into Hungary, which would not be that great. And the Spanish and the Italians are marching back into Germany. They've actually retaken um, Württemberg, the entirety of it, it looks like, um, and they've reconnected the front with Austria. So they all these divisions are. They're safe now. They, they might even be able to push back into the parts of Austria that they've lost and Munich and, you know, that one. Uh, that's that's just Bavaria right there. So the Polish are making a counterattack against the Soviets that are invading the Romanians. And they've actually taken land... From the Soviets. And, oh, looks like the Soviets have finally taken their first province, by the way. Uh, unless there's one over here that I didn't notice. Nope. Yeah, the Soviets have taken their first province against the Polish, but it's only one. The Polish have taken more. The Soviets have brought their um, manpower back up to 6 million, which will help. I think Japan actually did run out of manpower. Yeah, they did, and they are refusing to upgrade it, I think. But they are making a lot of divisions. That's a ton. Um, are you sure you can handle that, Japan? I'm not sure you can. <laughs> the Axis is looking a lot better than it once did, actually. Jeez. They've regained basically all of France. They are losing a lot of Italy, and they did lose basically all of Greece and Albania and stuff. But we don't, we're not going to think about that. All these troops that are invading Italy, they do have the... Oh, Rome was lost. So Italy actually might capitulate pretty soon, which is... Not good for the Axis, because they are relying on a lot of these Italian divisions to hold the Allies off. Oh, look at this. Czech Republic has been recaptured for the most part. It was a lot... Um, there was a lot more of it uh, had, that had been taken from them earlier. It's just back and forth, these guys. Jeez, I, I never know what to think, you know, if if they're going to die or if they're going to win. Jeez, this is like a crazy... <laughs> I've never seen a an AI game like this where the Axis has just been on the... On the tip of defeat for so long, but they keep making these weird comebacks. And I've honestly never seen the Comintern do this bad either. And vice versa, never seen that Japan do this good. Also, look at how much land Afghanistan 
and Iran has taken from the from the Soviets. Jeez, they've taken basically all of Turkmenistan. Um, some of, you know, I guess, what what would this one be? Like this is around Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, one of those two, and they're gonna start pushing into Kazakhstan pretty soon. The Persian army has 37 divisions, and the Afghanistan army has also 37 divisions. So these two guys together, actually including Turkey, Turkey's in their um, alliance, 51 divisions. Except Turkey's having a, a little bit more time, uh, or focusing a little bit more on attacking the Italians over here. But the, these guys all three together are actually defending themselves and invading back the USSR. So they're doing pretty good. Um, the USSR right now, what are they doing right now? Oh, Poland. Have you taken more? No, I see. You've, they've taken this little strip here. Um, the USSR is invading Romania fairly strongly, or I guess they're doing it okay, but not over here. Um, the Polish are refusing to let let the uh, Soviets do very much damage over here. But in the south, they, they are doing quite a bit. Nationalist Spain ha now has 119 divisions. Let's check Italy. 100, so it's dropped a little bit. And Austria-Hungary, 95. So they, they're still doing pretty strong. Let's check the Allies, though. England has 223 um, free France, I'm sure, barely any. Um, I'm not even actually going to check free France. But Belgium might have quite a few. Um, Belgium has 47. The Netherlands have 43. Um, and then there's smaller ones. Let's check the U.S., though. The U.S., 143. So British, the British actually have, like, the largest army in the U.S. so far. I mean, in the Allies so far. Um, the USSR has 404. Um, which is actually kind of a low amount for them. Checking in the uh, casualties for the Soviets, just because I'd like to see the Soviets die. <laughs> it's kind of messed up, but 2.2 uh, dead in a million in the war against Japan. Um, we have Soviet-German war. Well, only 1,000 dead Ger uh, Soviets here, actually. Uh, we have the Soviet-Polish war. 8.52 million dead Soviets. Jeez. Um, Iranian... Uh, 237,000 dead. Um, that's, that's more than the rest of the, uh, Sabada Pact combined, so. Jeez. Come on, Soviet Union. I mean, they, they did successfully capitulate Romania, which gives them an invasion, um, a spot to be able to invade Austria-Hungary, and Jeez, I just burped there. This war really has been raging for way too long, I think. Like, there's no reason that nationalist Spain should be holding France for this long. Um, and Belgium and the Netherlands should be holding Germany for this long. And Austria-Hungary have come back in the 1940s. I mean, this this game is insane. This is one of the most crazier ones I've ever watched. Well, boys, I don't really think we're going to see very much change after a while. I mean, I don't think there's going to be a peace deal in a very long time just because it's taking forever for really anything to happen. I've sat here for about um, 30 minutes and the borders really haven't changed except for over here a little bit so we might not see the the uh thing happen for very long so i think i'm probably going to end the series here we're probably just going to say it was a draw because axis and allies just can't kill each other germany capitulated but austria hungary rose out of nowhere and um ended up joining the axis with italy and and nationalist spain did super good they conquered france after uh after the germans conquered france and then lost it and then the belgians puppeted France for some reason um so and also I'd like to point out the irony that um free France is called free France even though it's a puppet of Belgium but anyways boys thank you so much for watching this if you like this series make sure to leave a like and a favorite and a subscribe if you guys are new and I will see you guys all next time make sure to leave suggestions of what kind of series you would like to see next in the comments peace